Part of that plan includes putting Monroeville police officers in a substation inside the mall here, also restricting when teenagers can come here on weekend nights without adult supervision. But we also got to look today at a system the DA says would monitor cars as they're driving through the parking lot here into the complex. It's a system the DA says the mall has ignored. The triple shooting inside Macy's at Monroeville Mall stunned most everyone, especially those who know the victims. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. I, you know, I didn't. I'm really surprised. Howard Anderson is a former neighbor of Thomas Singleton, who police say was walking with his wife Mary when they were both shot. Their son was also with them, but was not hurt. He was a nice fella. You know, he. Worked every day. You know, he stayed busy. Police say the shooter, 17 year old Terod Thornhill, was actually targeting another man, 20 year old Devon Jones, who was shot and is now in critical condition. At last check, Thomas Singleton is also critical. His wife was upgraded to fair. But while they recover, more questions are being raised about security at Monroeville Mall. At the center of the mall's changes is a youth escort plan, meaning no one under 18 allowed in the mall without a parent or guardian after 6 p.m. on Friday. Friday and Saturday. Mall management wouldn't speak on camera about how they would enforce that, but many shoppers are skeptical. There's so many exits, so many entrances. I mean, how are you going to watch who's coming in? More police officers are also expected to patrol the mall, but Allegheny County District Attorney Stephen Zapala says the mall's plan doesn't go far enough. He thinks management needs to do what a security consultant recommended last year install cameras that read license plates of cars entering the mall complex to better watch out for threats before they get in. Inside. The DA says the cost of that system would have been about $104,000. Now, about that substation inside the mall, the mayor here tells me police are putting that office together and they hope to have officers inside it very soon. Reporting live at the Monroeville Mall, Bob Hayes in Pittsburgh's Action News 4.